Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know. It's your boy, Mr. Mondre, and I'm here with my lady. Shamar Lachey. And this is the Myers Affair. What? The Myers Affair. What? The Myers Affair. Ah! <laughs> six days I'm finally able to talk some so I decided to go on and try to record and do some vlogging because we know it's been a while but to catch you up I might look like I'm talking a little funny because I can't fully open my mouth but I had to um I keep looking over here messing me up <laughs> I had to um well still have actually two abscess in my mouth it started out as one and then it formed into a second one and it's been crazy. I've been doing all kind of home remedies and everything. And I felt like nothing was working because nothing had been working. And so it's getting a little better. It's kind of helping it. But as you can see, I still talk with funny. It's still there. One one of them has kind of gone down away a little, I guess you could say. And the other one is still like fighting with me. So that's where I wrote that. And that's why I like this because as y'all can see before I got before it happened I had washed my hair and treated it and twisted it up and yeah this is the result of that now because I haven't been able to do nothing else to it because I've been in the bed for a whole week in pain trying every home remedy you could think of and today is my first day actually out the bed and moving around my twist is coming down and everything so trying to get myself back in order a little bit but anywho not to bore y'all with that just want to let you know why i'm looking so rough and why i might look like i'm talking a little funny and i'm kind of holding my mouth on this side when i talk so it doesn't irritate it too much but during that time so i've been as you all know on a weight loss journey have lost a lot i actually got down to 205 before the cyst came in for those of you who don't know i started I've been, it's been a few years weight loss journey I, my biggest was 298 and I was just struggling back and forth between like 260 270 finally got down to 220 and couldn't get no further than that like I was well I did a little a little down but what struggled back up to 220 so I finally got down to 205 and within this last month right when I hit 205 the abscess came in which made me bedridden which caused me to gain weight which I don't understand because I literally ate nothing like I couldn't eat for four days I consumed no food so I don't understand how I went up but anywho within those six days I gained four pounds just sitting in the bed not eating nothing like I don't understand like my husband said because I was just being still but I guess so Anywho, with all that being said, I am going to do my three-day military diet that I've done before that works great. And so I'm going to do that to get these few pounds off that I gained while I was in the bed for four to five to six, actually six days. Yeah, it was full six days. That's pitiful. Okay, yeah, because today's day seven and I'm finally off the bed. So yeah, for six days, I gained 4.4 pounds in the bed, not eating. I really didn't eat anything until day five and I ate mashed potatoes because that's all I could get in my mouth so I'm doing this to see if I can get this weight back down so for my first meal I have to have a half a grapefruit mm, it's, it's still sore y'all so bear with me a half a grapefruit a slice of toast with two tablespoons of butter and a cup of coffee or a cup of tea I've been on a coffee kick lately. like I've been wanting coffee so I'm going to drink some coffee. So I'm brewing my coffee here, as you can see. 
it's been tripping too. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I've been brewing coffee all week with no problem. And today it's like just wowing. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's like going and stopping and going. I don't know. But I got my toast here. And I think I burnt. Well, okay, I guess I didn't burn it. It looked burnt for a minute, but I guess it's cool. It's fine. And my good old peanut butter. I'm going to use creamy. And I have my grapefruit. This is where it's going to be tough because I love grapefruit. You're only supposed to have a half. I want to eat the whole thing. But I'm going to follow the rules and I'm going to cut me up half. So, oh, Jesus, my mouth is so sore, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go and put my peanut butter on my toast and cut my grapefruit up, make my coffee. Then I'll come back to you all. got everything ready let me put my coffee so you can see it ah, there we go i have a piece of toast with my two tablespoons of butter if you've seen i put i mean <laughs> butter peanut butter if you've seen i put some back because i just feel like it was just too too much then i realized i used a big spoon and not a regular spoon so that's probably why it was way more so yeah i kind of put some back but i have that i have my half of grapefruit the trivia i showed you i sprinkled a little on there if you can Okay, there we go you can't really see it now because it's kind of melted in but i put my trivia on my grapefruit i like grapefruit so it doesn't kind of matter but i like the trivia kind of gives it a sweet taste so for those that might not like grapefruit put the trivia on there i guarantee you 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 would like it you, you can bear it at least <laughs> but i did that and then of course you've seen i put my trivia in my coffee and i use the creamer y'all this creamer i don't like this creamer like i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna front let me grab it this great value French vanilla artificial flavor. The creamer itself is good. It tastes good. It tastes like French vanilla. It's, it's, it's a good flavor. It's just you have to use so much. Like I know y'all see me squeezing there and they're like, oh my God, that's a lot. It's really not like, yeah, it is a lot, but it takes that much to get the creamy ness of your coffee like this to even get the color or get the flavor of the French vanilla. So I bought this by accident. I actually, when I got this, I got it for hubby thinking it was um, the liquid one that he likes and it's not. It's the powder. So we're having to use it because I bought it and we don't let anything go to waste in this house. So after this, I will definitely buy the liquid ones. But yeah, just to let you know if you're curious, it's, it's, it's good, but it takes a lot to get that flavor. Like you got to use a whole lot in one cup. So that's the only downfall to it. I might have a quick conversation with you guys about um, a conversation me and hubby had in the car this morning. Just because I think I would like to share it with you all. So, oh, and I need to figure out what I'm going to cook today because I have not meal prepped yet, which is something I will do for you guys. I'm going to freezer prep. Let me show you how I meal prep on a budget would literally like three packs of meat. And this is an overview of my icebox that I wanted to give before and I haven't when I go grocery shopping I will do a grocery haul probably next month because this one was like very quick and last minute because I was hurting and in pain and snow was coming in so cold front and all that so I had to go in and rush and get groceries in the house for the kids so they can have stuff to eat in case we got snowed in and get stuff in case the power went out so yeah I got a bunch of quick stuff so I didn't get to do a like but I will this year this year <laughs> this time i actually did a little gift special for them which i don't normally do and they're excited so i had to put it high because it is limited but i got some as we consider them fat snacks <laughs> so i got a big thing of cheese balls i got some rice krispie treats i got some box of fruit snacks box of honey buns box of reese crackers and regular crackers yes my kids love crackers so i know some people like that's that's a snack yes they will turn them up with like tuna or peanut butter or cheese or I have artichoke dip and I have spinach artichoke dip and then I have Sabra there we go can y'all see that right there Sabra honey dip the roasted red peppers that's what I have so yeah though those are pretty much the snacks they get when I switch it I switch it up as well 
um, every month. They get different stuff, but that's what I got this month. I, but yeah, that's just a quick overview, but I will do a full grocery haul if you guys would like to see. Comment below and let me know. And I will do, not, do one next time I go grocery shopping. Okay, let's get some light in here. There we go. Much, much better because it was dark. I'm cheap, y'all. I be trying to conserve the bills. So I'll be trying to get that natural light. I know it might not be the best, the, the best, <laughs> the best, but we keep that electric bill down. Let me turn this to But Oh my God, y'all. My mouth hurts so bad. Like, it's not even funny at all. So, this is going to be a half little mukbang conversation. <laughs> mukbang with some, with some peanut butter toast and, and um, grapefruit oh my god y'all it's so sore it is so like so so sore but i'm trying to i'm fighting through it because i had to get up i can't be down no more i can't oh jesus i can't but yeah so this is actually pretty good like not bad but okay i'm gonna try not to smack because i'm terrible with that but um okay so we're in the car back to my story in the car and okay off subject all the power is going out everywhere and i literally just took my stew meat out to throw out because we forgot last night i hope my power doesn't go out before i can cook dinner i have backup plans like if i need to make like tuna sandwiches and chips and fruit or whatever we have salads like that plenty of things but i really want to cook my stew so yeah, I might need to go run some hot water on it so I can help me get it to thaw. There's a lot of power going out. <clears throat> but anywho, y'all, because I think I'm running out of space on this phone. We dropped the kids off, and so hubby turned the radio down, and he said, I'm going to try to sum it, because it was a lot. But he said, babe, I'll tell you, he said, I just want you to know that I really appreciate you. I said, oh, yeah, I know. I know, babe. I know you do. Appreciate you, too. He said, no, I really want you to know. Like, I want you to know I appreciate you as a mom. I want you to know that I appreciate you as the wife that you are, the way you handle the kids, the way you handle the bills, the way you handle the house, the way you handle business for our family. He said, the way that no matter what you're going through or what you have going on in your life, you never let it affect you being the best wife and the best mom that you can be he said and he said a little a lot more but i'm trying to sum it but basically those were the main things and he was like i just really want you to know that and i want you to know that i truly love you and i truly appreciate everything about you and everything you do and i want you to know that i love everything about you and the person that you are and I want you to know that everything you do for us does not go unnoticed and i love you babe and i was just like thank you like i appreciate that and you know my bad y'all thought someone's on the camera you know i'm a cry baby y'all I'm, I'm such i'm emotional i'm a cancer so yeah i'm emotional i'm a cry baby so i was trying to hold it i'm like nah be strong be strong man you know be strong keep your tough girl on you know don't don't show no weakness don't show no weakness <laughs> so i'm like okay thank you thank you and so, I didn't cry, and I was emotional, but I didn't cry, but I told him thank you, and I love him, and I appreciate it, and I'm saying all that to say, when you're in a relationship, sometimes people can get comfortable, I should say, or settled, and just expect things out of you, and no longer appreciate it, because they just expect that that's what you're supposed to do, like, that's your part, that's your role, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Which is true, you know, if that is your part of your role in their relationship, that's what you're supposed to do. But it's still good to be acknowledged. It feels good when you're acknowledged about it and when you are you feel appreciated, you know, and you feel that your partner, your spouse, your significant other, whatever it may be, is acknowledging all that you do, all your hard work and everything you put into this relationship. And it was just really good to hear him say that because, you know, I know he feels that way. But when you actually hear the person tell you, it just, it does something to you. Like, it just makes you feel so, so good inside. And it just, it does. It's just like, 
I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, but it just it made me feel so good. And um, like I said, I know he feels that way, but it's just hearing it feels good. And there's just kind of a message I wanted to put out there to couples that are watching this, whether married, engaged, dating, whatever. Just know that, man or woman, either one. Make sure your partner knows that you appreciate them. If they're doing right by you, if they're doing good, make sure they know that. Make sure you remind them. Make sure you confirm that to them. And make sure they're aware that you appreciate everything about them. You appreciate everything they do. Through the good, through the bad, through all of that. Make sure they know. Because some people out here are in relationships and they, they're not sure if they're appreciated. They're not sure if their partner really understands all that they do. All that they put in for this. You know, all that, that they're going through. And so, excuse me. Ooh, and so, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. You know, I don't want to get on no preaching mode and <laughs> nothing. But I just thought that just came to me when it happened. Like, I could talk about that. You know, throw that in there a little bit. Just, yeah, just make sure you let them know all the time that you love them. You appreciate them. Acknowledge everything they're putting into that relationship. That partnership, that whatever it is, just just make sure you acknowledge that and you let them know that you do acknowledge it and you appreciate it. I promise you, it, it will make things so much better. It'll make things so much easier. It'll make them want to be there more. It'll make them want to fight more for that relationship. It'll, you know, it'll make them feel that they are wanted and they are loved. My bad, y'all, if I keep switching arms, I'm holding this phone with my hand. But, yeah, it'll make them know that they're loved and they are appreciated and it'll make it makes it so much easier it makes life so much easier it makes relationships so much easier when you can just hear that and know that you know and hear the person tell you that so yeah that's that's my two cents <laughs> they're home still devouring halloween candy jalala come say hi say hi i want to get a hug <laughs> Eating meal too. See you later. Bye. My fuzzy. My is cool. Yeah. Back in this to go get heavy. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Freaking cold. Too, too freaking cold. Oh. Turn the heat on. Yes, Lord, turn the radio on. I don't need nobody's copy, right? In the moment of truth. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Beef stew, guys. Beef stew over a bed of rice. And he got sauteed mushrooms on the side. It's kind of dark. Can't really see. Very good, but yeah, that's it. My mission is accomplished. I achieved my beef stew. This is it, guys. It has, well, of course, the meat and potatoes and carrots and peas, onions, all of that, and of course. My white rice. We don't have mushrooms. We didn't want any. He just wanted them. But, yep, that's it. Bye. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Let's get rid of all of this stuff.